Hi everybody, it's me, Griffin, at Cherico Sewing Machines. Uh, today I wanted to make a video for you about the four main types of industrial sewing machines and the fundamentals of stitch formation. So before we go any further, we're going to cover two pieces of nomenclature. Federal stitch class and stitch forming devices. Federal stitch class is a designation that helps to standardize technical specification and aids in manufacturing. Although there's thousands of different styles of sewing machine, we can break most of them down into four main categories of federal stitch class. Class 300 lock stitch, class 400 multi-thread chain stitch, class 500 over edge chain stitch, and class 600 covering chain stitch. Next, we're going to take a brief look at stitch forming devices. All sewing machines use a needle in conjunction with another mechanism to form the stitch. Uh, lock stitch machines use either a full rotary hook or an oscillating shuttle to create a stitch. Chain stitch and cover stitch machines use oscillating loopers and uh, spreaders to interweave threads between one another. Overlock machines use a needle and a series of reciprocating spreaders and loopers to create thread triangles that create the overlock stitch. Lock stitch is the most common type of sewing machine. They come in many variations with the most standard being single needle, two threads. Uh, this machine that we're looking at here has a full rotary hook and can make either a 301 straight or 304 zigzag class stitch. An advantage of lock stitch is that it's extremely secure. Uh, if one stitch breaks, the whole seam won't unravel. Um, one downside is that lock stitch machines generally require bobbins which have to be wound and replaced so it's a little bit more time consuming. Chain stitch machines are really common uh, and found in the manufacture of garments. The machine uses one or more needles per bottom looper. The bottom looper actually oscillates in front of and behind the needle as it, as it continues in its stroke. The advantage of chain stitch machines is that they don't use consumable bobbins, so you could have a 5,000 meter spool of thread in the needle and a 5,000 meter spool of thread in the looper and just, you know, sew for, for miles. Um, that is a great benefit, but one of the downfalls of chain stitch machines is that uh, if you break a single stitch, your whole seam can unravel. Overlock stitch machines are the second most common type of machine found for both industrial and domestic use. Uh, the machine uses a needle in conjunction with a series of loopers or loopers and spreaders uh, in the case of a two-thread surge stitch. Overlock machines are often used to cut, bind, and seam all in one operation. Uh, the most common type of overlock seam is the 3-thread 504 class. Cover stitch machines are similar to chain stitch machines and usually have two or more needles uh, which work with both a bottom looper and a top spreader. Uh, these machines are really wacky to, to see, them, see them work. So hopefully this has been uh, really great information for you. There's um, a lot of info, a tremendous amount of information that I left out of this video. Um, I wanted this video to be short, clear, and concise, um, and a touch point so that we can delve into some deeper topics in the near future. So if you like my content, um, I'd love for you to like and subscribe so that we can continue to learn more together.